What's better for your bank account, a used car or a new car? Well, let's get into the details. Hey guys, my name is Bailey. I'm here to help you get your money right. So today we're going to talk about cars. New car versus used car. Well, we all know when you walk into a dealership, you see that brand new, shiny, pretty car, and you're like, that's the one I want. That's the one I want. <laughs> and then you're like, but the price, that's a pretty big price on it. And you know, as soon as you drive that off the lot, it's going to lose a lot of value. It's going to depreciate very fast. But if you buy a used car, you're getting it cheaper, maybe not even that many miles on it it's also a better deal in the long run. That way you're not paying, you're basically taking out a loan to keep paying for something you're using. Why do you wanna take out a bigger loan when you can have something just as nice, maybe not as new, but just as nice for less the price? The one thing to keep in the back of your head is that the car dealership and the salesman wants you to spend the most money that they can get you to. In all reality, that means they'll say, hey, take out this loan. And in all reality, they can give you a loan up to 50% of your debt ratio, which getting locked into 50% of your income into a car is not a good deal. And you should always remember that. You don't want 50% of your income going towards one thing. Now listen, that's half your income on one thing, your car, which don't forget, you still need to live somewhere. A home lender will only let you spend about 34% to 43% of your income on a home. They want you to be able to have the extra money and pay for your utilities, everything else you need. You don't want to put half your income on your car. One other thing to remember is a car loses its value over time, like literally as soon as you take it off that lot. So I really want this new car, but do I really want it? Like, do I really want to pay all this interest? when my car is gonna depreciate as soon as I take it off the lot. This is a crazy decision. I'm gonna have to run these numbers and make sure it's exactly what I want. In order to see the full price one will pay for a new car and an old car, we have broken down this example based on average statistics. The average purchase price of a new car in the United States is 36,718. For an individual with an average credit score, which is typically between 600 and 699, the average car loan interest rate they would be able to get would be 11.4%. If they put down a little over $4,000 and had an auto loan amount of $32,480, they would have a monthly payment of $687.51, which is broken down over the average length of an auto loan, which is 63 months. After 63 months, when they paid the car off in full, they will have paid $10,832.98 in interest, which brings the total price paid of this new car to $47,550.98. In addition to paying over $10,000 in interest, you must also take into consideration the total assets value after that 63 months. According to specialists, the average car loses 50% of its value within its first five years. This means that after 60 months of paying, the car's value dropped by $18,359. If you add the total depreciation of the car to the amount of interest paid, the person who purchased this car lost $29,191.98 after paying the principal pay down. Now that you see the total cost of purchasing a new car after five years, let's look at the total cost of purchasing a car that's roughly five years old using the same statistics. Let's take that car's value, which after five years is $18,359. You put down the same amount of money, which is a little over $4,000, and have the same interest rate. Your loan amount comes out to $14,121. Since the total loan amount is significantly less than the total loan amount of the new car, your new monthly payment is only $298.90. Broken down over 63 payments, the total interest paid on this car is only $4,709.74. This amount is roughly six grand less than purchasing the new car. Your new total payment after these 63 months is $23,068.74. Also, according to specialists, the average car's value depreciates by 25% between years 5 and 10. 
This means the total value of your car from purchase price, which was 18359 only depreciated to $13,769.25. If you add the total difference between these two amounts to the interest paid on the car, this means you will be at a total loss of $9,299.49. If you subtract this amount from the total money lost on the new car, you will have saved $19,892.49. When looking at the price of an auto loan, we must take into consideration two factors. They include the interest rate on the loan, and the total depreciation of the car. Although this example doesn't take into consideration all factors at play, one being the amount of maintenance a used car would take compared to a new car, it's hard to believe you'll spend close to half this difference over the course of five years. So after running these numbers, I gotta make a decision. Which one is best with my income and what I'm willing to spend? So, I, Cause I like to spend my money on extra stuff too. So I'm probably gonna go with the used car just to leave me on a nice cushion. So this year I bought a 2015 Equinox. I had a lower interest rate because I have a credit score of 802. So that really helped me a lot. Since it is a 2015, I did decide to buy all the extended warranties. The extended warranty covers all my repairs, anything that goes wrong at all with my car up until 100,000 miles, which I bought it with 42,000. So it's really not that much extra a month, but my car payment's really not even bad, like at all. Like it's very cushionable. I can afford it. I have no problems. I can still do all my extra stuff, but I didn't go and buy the brand new one because the brand new one would have put me farther in. Well, I don't want to pay that many years on a payment. I want to be careful. I want to make sure that I have money for whatever else I need. And another good thing about the warranties is a lot of used cars, they're going to come with more problems than a brand new car. You want to be able to have that warranty so you're not spending thousands and thousands on just fixing what you just bought. Like, that's literally miserable. I've done it before. It's not fun. So my point of this is you want to make sure you're ready for the extra repairs if you don't buy the extended warranties because you have to be able to afford that. So you have to understand that a used car is going to come with more repair costs than a new car. So weighing out the options, new car, used car, say you're the one in the dealership, would you go with the used car or would you go with the new one? We want to know your opinions or if you guys have already had this experience, please comment below. Thank you for watching another episode of The Money Show. Make sure you smash that subscribe button so we can help you get your money right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.